Hello, bit of a weird way to start a video because you're looking up at me, but um, again. Hello, bit of a weird way to have my camera angle, but I just thought I'm gonna start it here. I'm not gonna do a wee sit down and everything, but today I'm gonna be filming. Nope. <sighs> hello, um, hello. So. Bit of a weird way to start a video, but you're looking up at me. Oh, fucking hell. Hello. So I am a bit hunched over, but today I'm going to be filming a recent. Why can I not speak? Oh. Hey, you cool cats and kittens. It's Carol at Big Cat Rescue. Hello. So for today's video, I'm going to be filming a recent Depop try on haul. I didn't pick up too much in the last wee while, but I just thought. I would come and show you. I was going to combine like other clothes that I bought into this, but <sighs> to be honest, I just can't be bothered. I'm not going to lie. So I'm just going to stick to Depop. So. so if you want to see what I picked up from Depop in the last wee while, just keep watching. So the first thing I picked up from Depop is actually this palm tree print t-shirt dress. And at the front, in pink letters, it says Club Tropicana. And that's kind of what drew me to it. Like, I love the palm tree print already. But then I had the pop of pink on it. Originally, I bought this when I was supposed to be going on holidays. But Miss Rona will not permit that. So, I bought it roughly at the time that I thought maybe I could get away in, like, July when we were meant to be going away. But I didn't want to pass it up because I haven't seen it anywhere. It's originally from Misguided, but I hadn't seen it anywhere. And then when I seen it, I was like, I need to buy that before someone else does and then I won't be able to get it. It is a t-shirt dress and I could get away with it as a dress, but since I'm tall and like when you put your arms up, obviously it rises, it still covers my butt because it is a bit longer at the back than at the front. But just now I wear it as like a t-shirt for lounging about the house or a pyjama top or and if I wore a bikini I could use it as a bikini cover up kind of thing. But yeah, I just love it. Love it so much. Nice and bright, very summery. Maybe I could get out as a dress but for now it's, it's a big bag of t-shirt. I really like this t-shirt dress because the sleeves are very long as well. They come to like elbow length which I prefer on a t-shirt and t-shirt dresses I really like long sleeves on them because it's very baggy, you can move about, it's like very flowy so I prefer that when it comes to like t-shirt dresses and t-shirts I like like really long sleeves which sometimes it is hard to find t-shirts and t-shirt dresses like that. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. So next we just have this white Adidas t-shirt with a big Adidas logo on the front. Depop is amazing for like vintage tees, just any kind of t-shirts. I love Depop for the t-shirts. That's mostly what I buy on Depop um, and it's because I need to wear like kind of casual comfy clothes to work. So love Depop for that. So yeah, we have this Adidas t-shirt. That's all I can say about this. So next I have another vintage tee. Um, I'm sure I got this either in a medium or a large. Um, and it is pretty big. But it's just got the orange accent writing on it. And it's Tennessee and it says go Vols, I'm sure it says. At the very front. And I just love it. Like vintage tees, they're my favourite. I honestly love them so much. And I like buying vintage t-shirts because... Like, I just know that not everyone's going to have them. Like, I do buy, like, mainstream clothes off of, like, Boohoo, Misguided, ASOS, all that. But I do like having, like, vintage t-shirts and vintage pieces that I know not a lot of people will be wearing. Or I'll buy, like, older clothes that are, like, not really in style this season. But then, like, it all comes back around because, obviously, fashion, it's just a wheel and it all comes back around. So, I like wearing things that not everyone's wearing. Um, the majority of the time. So that's why I prefer buying big vintage tees, especially for my work. Like, shove this on, pay the leggings, go to work. And that's one thing I love about my work too. I can literally wear what I want. Amazing. So yeah, anyway, this big vintage tee. Love, love that. that not much to say about a t-shirt, is there? So I figured I'm just going to do all the t-shirts just now and get them out of the way and then move on to bottoms and blah blah blah. So another vintage t-shirt and I actually love this. Like I don't own much black vintage t-shirts that I enjoy. Like black t-shirts I don't like wearing all the time. Like there are a few that I will wear all the time but, hmm. 
but I've seen this one. So it's black and then it says the Will Rogers Theatre and then something there. So I thought this was really different. Like I've never seen a t-shirt with this on it and it's a theatre so like, cause like most vintage tees are like college and high school tops or like sporting things. So I was like, hmm, a theatre top, right? And then it gets better. On the back, look what it says. Been there, done that, got the t-shirt. I absolutely loved it. And see, when I actually bought it, I didn't see what was on the back. I thought it was just gonna be like this and then plain at the back, but no. I got it and it said that. And I was like, oh my God, amazing. Yeah, that is the Will Rogers Theatre t-shirt, which I love. The one thing I will say about this t-shirt though, I'm not really keen on the neckline. Like I know most t-shirts have got this neckline, but since it is a bit more tight fit and it's still baggy and it's got like longer sleeves, but it is a bit more tight fitting than the other ones I have picked up. So I think I kind of want to do something with this neckline because I have only had this t-shirt on once. Um, and you know what it's like when you get new clothes, you kind of want to wear it over and over till you get bored of it. But I've only had this on once, so I'm thinking I kind of want to do something with the neckline. Um, maybe make it more wearable and like more like make me want to wear it more basically and this is the last vintage t-shirt that i bought and it just says hawaii on it with an american flag and it's light grey and it's got a little v-neck on it as well um i just really like this i don't know what it is about things that say hawaii on it or have the american flag but i just like they catch my eye and when i seen this i was like oh that is pretty cool just love it had to buy it so i bought it now i've got it yeah so yeah, that is the Hawaii t-shirt. So next we're on a trousers. I picked up the gym leggings from Nike and it's got the neon green yellow Nike Pro here and then a Nike Tick. And Harry's on the Xbox if you can hear it. And I feel like I don't even need to give this disclaimer anymore. And then at the back of the legs, it's got the neon green yellow as well with the little air holes. Now, I love gym leggings. Don't go to the gym, but I like gym leggings because they're not see-through. Like, I'm having a bit of a dilemma now with leggings. Um, all my black leggings are see-through. Can't find any that aren't see-through. And sometimes I just want to throw on leggings and a t-shirt. A t-shirt that doesn't cover my bum. So, I bought these gym leggings because obviously they're a thicker material and not see-through. Um, and again, comfy for work. So next we have these black and white striped, like, claw kind of police, if that's the word. police -y. Don't even know if I'm making that up. Kind of trousers anyway. Um, but I just love them. I love this style of trousers. They're quite three quarter length because they're culottes obviously. Um, but I just love them. I love trousers like this because they're so airy. Especially for summer, um, the hotter ones. They're so good because I like doing this when I get too hot. These are originally from Primark. Um, I think they're a bit see-through. Are they? Just the tiniest bit, but yeah, perfect for work and perfect for summer. Okay, and next we have another pair of striped trousers. These are black and they're kind of cream, not quite white. Um, cigarette trousers, but I just love them. I used to love this style of jean and like leggings and stuff, but I know it did go out of style, but you know what? I like it, so I'm going to wear them. Um, and then we have this kind of like silky kind of belt just to cinch it in, but yeah. I really like these. Um, it's thrown me off a bit though that they're cream and not white. Um, but I will find wear for them. I've not worn them yet, but I do plan to because they're cigarette and they're quite um, like silky material, so they're really lightweight and perfect for the sunny days. So yeah, that is these black and cream cigarette trousers. Okay, on to the last pair of trousers. They're these dusty pink velvet ribbed like flowy trousers. I absolutely love these. I'm sure they're originally from New Look. And then we just have a little tie here as well. I absolutely love them. But shock horror, they're a bit see-through. Like, let me just real talk for a minute, right? Oh, it's it's so hard finding trousers that aren't see-through. Um, like, why can they not just have a thicker material? Or like, figure something out that's going to make them no see-through because it's a bit difficult because I want to wear all these trousers to work for summer because 
like he needs summer clothes buying other stuff and they're bloody see-through so I can't wear them at work can't wear them at all really if they're see-through but anyway I still love these trousers I do still love them they're absolutely stunning I love the dust to pink colour I love the feeling of them um, and you know what I might just need to wear them even though they're see-through just deal with it Okay, the next thing I picked up is this black ripped denim jacket and it's originally from I Saw It First. Now, I've always wanted a black ripped denim jacket but just never got around to buying one. Um, but now that I've got it, I'm like, do I really want a black denim jacket? Don't know if I just got it in the wrong size. I got it in my size, which is a 12. But my denim jackets that I love wearing are all oversized. And like, I bought a few denim jackets a few years ago um, and a 12 and I tried them on and I'm like, I don't like them anymore. They just feel so tight. Um, so maybe it's just because I didn't buy a bigger size, which I should have. But I'll show you anyway. Um, it is a bit tight fitting though. Like for me. I might just need to roll the sleeves up because it's just the sleeves that are really bugging me. Um, everything else I really enjoy about it. I love the rips, where they are. Like they go all around here. I absolutely love that. But I think it is just you to the sleeves um, so yeah I will try and make it work roll the sleeves up a bit because I just think black denim just goes with everything so yeah this is the denim jacket um, but yeah hopefully I can get around to like figuring out how I like to wear it and stuff but if not it'll be on my day pop next I picked up this navy navy blue hoodie and it's just from Nike so it's got obviously the Nike logo and then the stripes down here and on the back it says just do it now when I picked this up I thought it looked black and it did look black on the picture and I didn't think to ask is it black and it came in it's navy now I usually hate navy um, because it doesn't go with much because I bought this thinking oh I can wear it to work every single day because uh, I would want something like this in black just to wear it to work every single day um, because it's comfy and it goes with everything but no, it's navy so I can hardly wear it with anything apart from blue jeans <laughs> and I hardly ever wear blue jeans so yeah, but you know what, it's a good hoodie I like the fit of it so if I can get it in black anywhere I will be getting it in black yeah, that is just the Nike, Nike hoodie Okay, back into this tropical dress because that's what I'm actually wearing today. So I just thought I would come and show you like the shoes I picked up and a set of rings that I picked up. So I picked up this trio of rings from That Goddess on Depop. They all came in this cute little bag, which is amazing. I'm actually wearing one of the rings today. Um, it does look a bit minging because I've been wearing it every day and obviously it's not real silver. Um, so it's going like all that coppery way. But this is the first one. So it's just like a moon and star that goes around your finger. I might need to repurchase this single ring from somewhere because I love it so much. And then also in the little trio, I got this little palm tree ring and then just a normal diamond ring. So that was a little trio of rings. I absolutely loved them. I'm waiting on another set of rings coming, but she's not shipping out just now due to lockdown, but they're stunning. So I can't wait till they come. And then lastly I bought two pairs of trainers. So I'm just going to tell you something about myself that you might not know. I hate paying full price trainers. But if they're a bit scabby I do wear them at my work quite a lot. But the first pair I picked up are just these Adidas. I don't know the name of them. But I've wanted them for ages. I love the style. They're quite old school style. And um, that's the front of them. A bit scabby because I do wear them at my work. But I just love the style of them. Does it see what they are? Ortholite? Ortholite? I don't know if that's the name of these trainers. If anyone knows the trainers, let me know. But I just picked these up for work, very cheap, instead of paying full price, and they're basically brand new. Well, I bought them at work, but they're basically brand new when I bought them. So I just, like, I prefer buying my trainers, especially if they're, like, a, a brand. Like, obviously, like, cheap trainers, I'll buy, no problem. But, like, brands, like Adidas, Nike, Converse even are too expensive for what they are. I mean, come on, Vans. My secret's out, I buy second hand trainers because I'm too cheap to buy them myself. Anyway, and the next pair I bought, I bought a pair of the Vans skater high tops. 
wanted these for absolute ages but I just a uh, grudge because they're just plain black with a white stripe you're just paying for the name when it comes to vans but then all the fake vans like the pre-mark and that have they're like they're not even a good copy let's be honest so I just picked these up very cheap basically brand new when I got them so you can't grumble like Depop is the best for this kind of stuff so yeah my trainers that is all I have for this Depop try on haul I know it wasn't a lot but I just like doing these every so often to show you my Depop finds um, and yeah just praising Depop basically putting it out there so yeah I hope you enjoyed this little video and I will see you in my next one